Hey Kings, welcome to another Cargo Kings video today. Today I'm going to be talking about the Laurent and how to use mollies. It's a continuation of the series I started when I was just talking about how to use smokes. And today it's going to be very similar, but today we're going to be talking about mollies. Uh, mollies are a little bit simpler than smokes, I find. I find there's a few less uses. Um, but the main thing I'd like to go over is how new players, when they come into this, a lot of times people like to look at mollies as if they're used to kill people. Now, you can use a molly to kill someone, but the main usage, usage for mollies will not be to kill people. So if you're coming from, I don't know, Call of Duty or any other game that might have some sort of area damage, um, grenades like the molly, um, then try to throw away what you originally thought of it at, and instead uh, look at it more in the ways in which I will explain to you now. So I think the most important use of the molly is to buy time. Um, in the previous video I talked a lot about how when you're on site and the time's running down, time can run out very quickly and it can be a big problem for the other team. So if that's a, if that's the case when you're on defense or when you're on or if you're on offense if you have the the spike or you're waiting from the plant you have time on your side and you need to use that to your advantage so how do you use molly's um, molly's to buy yourself more time well very simple a lot of times people like to right here we're on the map uh, ha having right now so a lot of times people like to come down here and uh, make the push through onto uh, C site or A site. So, as you can see, there's only three real entrances um, over here with their long, uh, over this way through short, and then this is from our own spawn. So, most of the time, you don't need to worry about over here, but it is possible that they come through the B site. So, just keep that in mind. So, say they're coming through long, you know they're coming from long, um, like. Maybe one of your teams got information, uh, someone died over here, who knows. Point is, you have you either know they're coming here, or you have a hunch. Molly. Shoot your molly down, now all of a sudden they can't walk through here. And it's that's really all it is, it's that simple. Molly, this whole pathway, they can't come through here. That buys you time. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly how much time, let me count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So about you about eight seconds there. Eight seconds is enough time to where, say they're about to make their push, you have this molly off. Molly. Then all you have to do now is you can just watch this one. Watch short. It literally narrows it down so much. And a lot of times they're not gonna be ready for it. Um, so these people might push as is, especially if it's unorganized. So. You molly these guys, these guys can't come through, and then all of a sudden it's just you and these people over here. And then uh, you have an easy, you have an easier target. You can focus on one person at a time. Uh, and of course you can do that either way. Uh, the next usage for mollies um, is very simple. Rather than killing people, you still want to throw mollies at them. But the difference is, is you're not throwing the mollies to kill them, you're throwing it to get them out of the area. So if you're coming over here through long, a lot of times people might smoke off uh, heaven over here. So a lot of times what you do is you just molly. shoot a molly in there. So while it's smoked off, of course, that way you don't get sniped while you're trying to shoot the molly. Or you can uh, find a cheeky angle of some sort. I don't really know if this has been implemented into uh, Valorant the way it is in Counter-Strike. If, where you just kind of like shoot it Molly. over the building like that. I don't know if there's an angle that makes it possible. But the main thing is, is without being seen, Molly. shoot a molly in there. Dang, dang I missed. Uh, what that'll do is take any snipers who are possibly up there and it'll remove them from the site. Um, with that being with that being done, that means you have a, it just, it's just a way of clearing that area. That way you can focus on everyone else on the site. It also will just, I mean, in general, prevent 
like a sniper. Um, and, and this is very common too, like if you're on defense, if you know that, for example, on this map, it is very common, I find to smoke off this side of the map, or this side of the site, left side of the site, and then plant right here, right? So say you're on this side of the box and you you find that you just got, the whole site got smoked off and then now they're planning. Well, this isn't like, I haven't, I don't have it like perfectly marked off, but I mean, a couple of practice shots here, literally my second try, I just mollied off the entire back side of the box. That will mean they number one can't plant here and now they have to move over and try to plant again. Like I said, nine seconds of having a molly out will like like by the time the the smoke's clear uh which they might depending on how long the smokes have already been there they might be gone by the time uh the molly's clear which means they either had to plant in a worse position or they haven't planted at all yet which could literally buy you the round um so between those two ways uh keeping people from entering the site and then keeping people from planting uh, then between those two ways those will up your game uh, quite a bit I, I would say number defensively and offensively offensively because if you come in plant and then you're waiting for people to come for the defuse then it's like well again Molly. you know they're about to come mollied off now they can't come for another 10 seconds like super easy stuff uh, very and like it's pretty self-explanatory too and you'll find uses for this everywhere one more way to use a molly is if you just planted and say this is the bomb, uh, you know that they're about to defuse it or that they are going to be on site, maybe they smoke it off. Point is, is you know they're going to try to de uh, defuse the bomb, molly. throw a molly on there, boom. Now it buys you about 10 seconds, 5 to 10 seconds of them not being able to defuse the bomb. They try to, um, they're going to get burnt. This could even win you the round. Say it's the say they're going for a clutch defuse. Uh, they know it's a one v one. They they shoot me right here, but rather than shooting them because I know say my health is way lower or something along those lines, I molly the site. They kill me. Doesn't matter that they kill me because now they can't defuse the bomb. It's always good to keep that in mind. Uh, the next thing you could use a molly for is by pushing people for surprise. So like I said. Everyone knows that molly. if you say you molly this right here, now they're over on the other side thinking to themselves, okay, well, we can't make the push. Well, you could. And I think that's that element of surprise uh, really could win the game. I, I know they can hear you. There is that there is that um, case. But if you had a teammate flash for you, or if you, especially if you were playing as Phoenix, where or not Phoenix, I think Jet. Um, oh, no, it is Phoenix where you gain health when you walk through the fire. Using those, uh, using this tactic right there will just give you an edge on some opponents. Don't use it all the time, of course, like it takes away, I think 30 health, 30 to 40 health when you're walking through it. So be careful with it, but use it um, to your discrepancy. All right, Kings, I believe that's all that uh, you can use, that you could use a molly for. I'm sure as the meta, uh, develops that you'll find a lot more uses for them and a, like a lot more just a lot more different stuff. I'm sure you'll find just in general a lot more useless for them uh, but uh, as of now the game's very early and uh, I haven't seen many more uses other than the basic ones again if you're a new player or a, a, a if you're a seasoned player from Counter-Strike I expect you to know a lot of these things but if you're new to Valorant you've never played this game mode this video is for you I really hope that you uh, learned something uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me if there's any ways I, um, any any ways to use a molly that I left out. Um, I think the next part of the series that I'll probably make is I'll probably start to make using your supers, and I'll go over the super of each um, each hero and just talk about how to use them. Uh, let me know if there's any anything else you would want me to go over. Uh, but yeah, thanks, Kings, for watching. Uh, have a good one.